Maybe I should. Now I can see in the mirror. Yeah. Um, I'm in Reno. It's a like three hour drive from where I live. And uh, I just quit my job. I like to, whenever I go to hotels and shit, just go around and show the rooms and shit. But anyways, this is the first time I've been in a hotel in, since like 2015, 2016, maybe 2017? I don't remember. But I'm here, I just quit my job, and I'm going through a lot of stuff right now other than just the job. Oh wait, look, 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 look. If you can see, there it is. The fucking uh, infamous sign. I'm going through a lot of stuff right now. Um, I feel like all of my friends are gone. And I'm kind of going through like, uh, I guess you can consider a breakup. I don't know what to call it. And this is um, my way of getting away. And I don't know, we're only here for two days, but this is one day, today. I've been here for about, three hours. I love it here, but I think it's just because it's not California and I fucking hate California. I haven't really talked to anyone. I haven't really seen anything and I'm pretty sure everyone that I'm going to see is all like a bunch of tourists from different areas. But still, I don't know. I would like to move out here, just Nevada in general. I don't know about Reno. But anyways, I'm like not, <laughs> not having a good time. Like the only thing to do is gamble and go to a bar. None of the bars are open, so I can't get a drink. And even if I do get a drink, I'm just gonna be sitting there by myself drinking. That's kind of fucking pathetic. Um, and I don't gamble. I think gambling is fucking stupid, but I don't know. Maybe shit will loosen up. Maybe when I finally get a fucking drink in me, I'll loosen up. But yeah, this is where I'm gonna be for the next couple days. And so you guys are gonna get a video of this shit. I didn't record anything as I was walking around just now because I kind of like did a loop around everything twice to see what's the, what all is there. But uh, when I go back out at night by myself, I'm gonna whip out the fucking camera. You guys will see all the interesting shit that there is to see. Not that there's much. It's interesting. You're gonna see a lot of fucking gambling machines, whatever the fuck you call them. But yeah, that's it for now. I don't know, I'm just kind of doing some reflecting as I'm here too. And it's like, like I was saying, it's like this is, I, this is my like getaway, my escape from everything. And really, I'm recording, yeah. It's really not escape from anything because City kids grow up where it's Shut the not fuck just your immediate family that kind of raise you. You're brought up by everybody that you come in contact with in your neighborhood. It, 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 it's really not a getaway or anything because, you know, I'm still stuck thinking about the things that are bothering me. I'm still thinking about, you know, the girl. And it's like, I know... I know, I know it will come in time and things will all go away and I'll feel better, but it's like, it doesn't feel like it's getting any better. And I'm waiting for it to get better. This place is dusty as fuck. This is kind of gross. We do a better job at fucking Planet Fitness cleaning up, but. I don't know. Welcome to depressed vlog <laughs> number two. But, uh, okay, now, now that's it for now. Also, you would think by now, they have like, how far, how far we are with like, streaming and shit, that we'd have like, I don't know, streaming shit on hotel TV and whatnot. Instead, I get to look for fucking nothing, and maybe the Olympics, if they even get the Olympics. 
Oh, you know what? I just realized it's too fucking late over there. So they're not going to have Olympics right now, so... It's a good thing I brought my fucking computer, because that way I can... This is not... Sled hockey championships. Hello? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, it's a good thing I brought my fucking computer, because otherwise... I would get stuck watching this dumb shit. So I know it looks depressing as fuck out here because all the smoke and shit, but I actually really fucking love it. I think it looks really fucking cool. I had three drinks, and uh, I'm kind of fucked. But this place right here, I'm a little disappointed that this place isn't open. So I was really hoping to check it out. I don't think it's gonna be open tomorrow either. I'm here for two days. But yeah, I'm kind of fucked right now, so. Uh, I'm gonna go get some food, then go back to my room, and then eat, and probably cry. But yeah. Yeah, so, I went to, uh, I was gonna walk around and record some more, but I kinda got a little more fucked up than I meant to. It's why on the camera you can see that I'm like all red and shit. Like my arms, my face, my, <laughs> uh, this is the only thing I looked forward to about going to Reno, was just going and getting fucked up. Like my eyes are all bloodshot and shit too. <laughs> I uh, I'm not doing well in general. Like I'm not even talking about right now. I mean in life, I'm not doing well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know what the fuck this is, but it's pretty cool. God damn it. Ah, uh, fuck me. Hella cute. It's a little dog park. Look, it's supposed to be a little corgi right there. It's so cute. What's weird about this place is everything looks like it's all fucking beat up and run down. Like, look at that shit. It looks hella beat up. 
I'm not beat up, but I don't know. This just looks weird. Like they need to update their shit or something. You know, I really like it here, but it's like, I don't know, everything looks just fucking mundane and bland. Like it feels so fucking superficial here. Maybe that's what it's like to be downtown in general and like most places, but ah, it's weird. That's pretty cool. It's kind of fucking creepy actually, holy shit. Pretty neat, also. I don't know. Maybe Reno ain't in it. I mean, everything looks just kind of beat this shit. I mean, I, I want somewhere that's a little bit more lively. Maybe I just haven't found the lively parts yet, but... Yeah, dude, everything looks beat to shit here. I'm gonna be 100% honest, I don't know how I found myself here. This is really nice. How's it going? Ooh. So I stopped at this place. It's called Discology. It's got like DVDs, CDs, vinyl, all sorts of other stuff. And I just bought two records from him. I bought um, Depeche Mode's Sounds of, the, Sounds of Faith and Devotion and Queen's Greatest Hits. Man, that was such a cool guy. I want to go that way, but there's a lot of weird looking people over there. So maybe not. Uh, but yeah. If you guys are ever in Reno, come check this place out. This dude's super cool. I just ended up in this place called The Basement. A bunch of like stories and stuff, it's kind of sketchy. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. What the fuck? What am I looking at? Interesting.
is this? Interesting. Very interesting. That's a cute little little center. It was kind of weird though, because I don't know why. Said hi, no one was friendly or anything. Strange. I'd say I'm officially lost now because now I don't know where anything is fucking at, so. Uh we're gonna figure this out. Yo, check that out. That is the uh, Freemason symbol. Where the fuck was all this last night? Why didn't I find all this before? Oh, that's a theater. Or box office, whatever the fuck. Dude, this is all the lively shit I was looking for. What the hell? There's a Patagonia store over there. I'm gonna be honest, I 100% don't know what the hype behind uh, Patagonia is, but hey, like, it seems to be very popular. Maybe I'll go check it out. They were closed, which sucks. So I wanted to see what all the hype was about. The air quality is too bad here. Yeah, see, okay, this was all the shit that I was looking for earlier. Instead of all that rundown shit that was downtown. I mean, I think this is still considered downtown, but still. Look at this! Oh, that's the sky. Look at this! There's a university behind this building right here. Look! So I... I'm gonna try to find a place to eat, but... I'm happy now. I did what I wanted to do. Come out, get lost in Reno for a little bit. And I have. And I feel like I still have a little bit more to go on the way back. Some other shit to check out. But still, I'm... I'm doing okay now. So I'm about to leave, and finally the smoke all cleared, you can actually see stuff. Figures. Hello? Oh, fuck. That's good. Is green appropriate? Is green, is green good lighting? I don't know. Let me, let me change it to something else actually. Uh, hello. I, uh, um, to end off this video, I was going to do another rant while I was out in Reno. I hate this fucking tribal hood. I was going to do, <laughs> hello. Um, I'm going to have to, like, slouch down for this shit to be in frame. Unless I just, like, hello. Um, I was going to do an another rant while I was out in Reno, but I ended up not because I got too lazy and too tired, and I went back to my hotel room and ate and then took a nap and then i woke up and went to go drink so i never did that last rant but uh anyways um we've been doing some reflection um also by the way if you want to skip this rant i'm gonna have everything i'm gonna have the rants like um time stamps in the timeline of youtube so you can skip all this if you don't want to watch this because it's not interesting this is more for me than for you but hey, if you want to fucking sit here and listen along, that's fine as well. But anyways, I forgot to sync my audio. That sucks. But anyways, um, my trip to Reno in general was very good. Um, uh, maybe not the first day, but I think I was in the wrong headspace on that first day. I think I was going about that trip in a wrong way. Um, and I talk about that too on the first day. Um... And just being a little bitch boy in the like first rant, but basically, I'm thinking about it now, and I was a good trip. I mean, there, I was making it a bad trip because I was letting my head go somewhere I shouldn't have let it go. I was letting stuff bother me that I shouldn't have let bother me, and I should have just taken that trip as you know a trip and just um, a place to escape. And instead, what I did was I took that trip as like a woe is me kind of trip um 
which is what I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just went to Reno just to go to fucking Reno and have fun. But I was too in my own head and too, uh... <laughs> too much of a bitch boy. I can't think of the exact word that I'm trying to think of, but I'm sure you, watching this and listening to this, you, you probably understand what I'm trying to say. But anyways, um, yeah, it was really cool. And then um, what I meant to say, what I meant to rant and talk about while I was still out there when I got back was um, I went to this record store. I mean, I was walking around for a long while and uh, I eventually found myself at this record store and... Um, it was a little, like, hole-in-the-wall place, and I definitely recommend this place because it was... Focus. 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 That should be good enough. I definitely recommend this place. It was it was really cool. The guy there, his name was David. He was really, 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 really cool and uh, very insightful. I told him I was out there because um, I had just quit my job, and I needed to escape and just go somewhere. And I was telling him basically everything that I was... Not everything I was going through, but a good majority of what I was going through. And he he was very, very insightful, and he was a really cool guy to talk to. I ended up talking to him for like an hour, um, and I was telling him about how I was out there, and I was thinking about moving out there, um, and I've been doing some scouting around, and he was basically telling me like, Reno is cool, but just be careful because it's expensive as fuck. He's telling me like a little apartment was like 2600 a month and i was like holy shit that's like more than it is here to rent an apartment but no that guy was just really cool in general and uh if you guys are ever in the area in the reno area go to the river walk and there's a little um lp cd laser disc store and yeah he's really cool just tell, tell him i sent you and i was gonna get a video of him and get video of him like doing his own little shout out but he was embarrassed too and that, that, that's fine i get it um, but yeah, I, I wanted to showcase his stuff and showcase him because he's was, he was, like I said, he was a really cool guy and he was very insightful. And um, I don't know, he helped he helped me in in, in a way. Um, and that's what that trip has been about: um, trying to get better, trying to help myself. Um, and I, when I was out there, I was just talking to a lot of people, just random strangers and whatnot, and it felt good. And I've been doing more adventuring, like today. Um, at the time of recording this, it is August 1st. I, um, I went to Old Sacramento. I've never been to Old Sacramento before. I drove my, uh, self. Um, and yeah, it was really cool. It's just been really fun adventuring. I, I would have recorded that, but I was, I, I was with someone and, um, I'm keeping vlogs and other things like adventure vlogs like this. I'm keeping adventure vlogs or like, like Reno vlog, um, Adventure vlogs are going to be kind of more a so, of a solo thing, and that's the only time I'm really going to record because I I go out and I do a lot of stuff with other people, but they're not always comfortable with a camera around, and I just feel like it's not interesting because I feel like I'd be too wrapped up in trying to record stuff than actually be a friend and be um, in the moment and hang out. Um, but like I said, I've been doing a lot of stuff and I've been talking to a lot of people, and um, yeah, it's been really cool, and Reno in general has been, was a very nice experience, and I wish I went and started Reno with a better, um, like I said, headspace and better approach, but I mean, hey, I can't go back and change it, the only thing I can do moving forward is go on more trips and try to enjoy myself a little bit more, um, and start off my trips the right way. Recording? Recording. Also, I forgot to say, hey, I got a new tattoo. Um, I can't really see it that well. Uh, yeah, I got a new tattoo. I wish I got it while I was out there, but I'm glad I went to where I got it at, because uh, she's cool. She's really cool. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Yeah. <laughs>